What's up, my brothers and sisters from the Marshall Stillman Method? So, we've been covering the basic blows of heavyweight champions, or just basic champions. So we're gonna go ahead and cover the last one. Dempsey's triple blow. Now this is a great blow. It's the way that he defeated Jess Willard, which was about 6'6 or 6'7, and probably outweighed him by a good 60, 70 pounds. So Dempsey was a bad man. Now the difference between the Marshall Stillman method of the way that Dempsey knocked out Willard and the way that Dempsey actually knocked out Willard is four blows, not three blows. So basically, I'm gonna show you on Brad here the way that it worked when he actually fought Willard was four blows. So what it is, is we're both in a fighting stance. When Winner threw that jab, Dempsey slipped in and hit him with the right to the body, left to the body, right to the body, and they came up with that hook that literally shattered Winner's jaw. I think it was like 13 or 17 places. And then that was it. After that, Winner wasn't in the fight anymore. So the basic blows of it was if we're here, he throws the jab, one, two, three, and then four. So, now in the Marshall Stillman method, he goes over it a slight tad different. I'm gonna put you on this side now. Now basically, again, if we're here, he throws the jab, it's one, two, in the Stillman method, he goes over the right. So in the actual winner fight, he uses a left for the hook. In the actual Stillman method, he throws a right. So in the actual fight, it's one, two, three, boom, four. And in the Stillman method, it's one, two, three. So there you have it. That is Dempsey's triple blow based out of the Marshall Stillman method. And I also showed it to you based off the actual fight of one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. So there you have it. There is Jack Dempsey's triple blow. Let me know what you think.